In this video we are doing a performance review of these, the ASICS Gel Kayano 29. What is up everybody and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, are your stability shoe wearer, did you get the Kayano 29? Now these things aren't cheap. But are they any good? Well, I thought it'd be time to come back and report back how I've been getting on with the Kayano 29. Right guys, so hopefully you saw um, the video we've done already on the shoe. Uh, but like always, I wanted to come back and let you know how I've been getting on with it as I've been living with it. Um, and just sort of, yeah, just let you know what it's been like to, to use the shoe, you know, over the last couple of, whatever is it, weeks? Might be months since we've done the, the um, other video on the shoe. But before we get into that, let's talk about what's new, uh, what's changed, and the most important bits on this new Kayano 29. Okay, so I think the most important thing uh, with this shoe is the addition of the Flight Foam Blast Plus in the uh, midsole. That's a much more responsive uh, ride in the shoe in terms of the compound. It's, you get a lot more feedback from the shoe uh, and a little bit more bounce versus the previous versions. We've still got gel here. We've gone for a light truss system. They've removed all the plastic from the shoe. So we've got this light truss system uh, and they've changed up the uh, design in terms of the heel, the flex grooves to, um, to give you some more of that natural stability from the shoe we've got a new stretchy knit up arm shoes got a 10 mil drop and it's 165 pounds which is one of the problems with this shoe uh it's a kayano so there's plenty of foam um, around the heel so it's nice and comfortable uh, i think it's aha plus yeah aha plus out so and that's probably about it it fits true to size um it's not light actually what is the weight oh tight we'll weigh it 11.7 ounces, 330s. I told you it wasn't light, so it's heavy. Uh, it's a stability shoe from Asics, so what do you expect? Uh, they do have a light version of this coming out. Um, that might be worth checking out if you're worried about the weights. Uh, but yeah, that's it in terms of stats and features and what's basically new on the shoe. Now, the shoe for me has come really into play on those days where I just don't care what I'm doing when I'm out running. It's those easy miles, those recovery miles, those running down to club. So five miles at lunch, three miles at lunch, whatever it is, is where this is being used. Um, it's not a shoe that I've gone particularly long in, um, mainly because it just, it just, it's not, a, I much prefer the Glide Ride 3. That's probably a better way to say it. Um, and I'm lucky because obviously you know, I get, yeah, this was shoe was sent to me by ASIC, so I'm not getting paid by ASIC, as you guess by now, I'm saying anything I like, but um, I'm lucky enough to have the Glide Ride 3 and I just prefer to go long in that. But the shoe's just, yeah, it's, it's a hard one, this, because I don't want to go, you know, beating it up when it's, you know, it's not a bad shoe, but at the same time, £165 is a lot of money for this. There's better stability shoes out there. I think the Tempest is a much better shoe. Um, I think the Guide 15 is a much better shoe. But if you are a Kayano fan, the improvements they've made are great. So that's why it's kind of, I'm on the fence with it. There's nothing bad here if you're a Kayano fan. I think the improvements have definitely taken it in a much more positive and better direction like they did with the Nimbus. But because of the world we live in, there's so much better shoes, you know, on offer now. And so, like, the guys at Socken have killed it this year with the, with the guide and the tempers. I think you, you are better off looking in that direction for a sort of less traditional um, stability shoe. But if you want to go for a, a traditional max stability shoe, that will give you, you know, the, the comfort and, and the... Um, and the assurance of having a stable ride so you don't get any issues with your legs and your feet and, and all this sort of stuff that you can get from pronating, then the Kayano will do the job for you. That, that's probably the, the fairest way I can say it. It's, it's been okay for me. It's, it's done a job in the rotation, which I do need. Um, I do find myself pulling out the Guide 15 rather than this. And I think that says it all, really, or the tempers. I think that really says it all about this shoe. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, let's leave it there. I think... The, the, new t the new 29, the additions and everything that they've done to it is awesome. Definitely improved the shoe. Feels much better. Feels, you know, much more responsive with the Flight Phone Blast Plus in it. £165 is a lot of money, but obviously you're getting a, a high quality product from ASICS. But I do feel like, yeah, unless you're a massive Kayano fan, it might be worth having a look at the Guide 15 and the Tempest. Yeah, that's probably the best way to, to leave the video. So the Kayano 29, it's a good shoe. But, you know, there is better out there. 